Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with another fake Grand Order video, for reals this time. Because there's something to talk about. Yeah, so there's a notice here, we're having another NA exclusive thing, I guess. The Halloween Campaign 2022. Something that did not exist on the uh, JP version of the game. Halloween Campaign 2022 will be here from the 17th to the 30th. Halloween has returned to Caldea. Focus on the servants who were featured in Halloween 2017 to 2020. The Halloween Campaign 2022 is here. Um, Halloween Campaign 2022 special total login bonus. I should mention this now because I forgot. That's what's going to be today's video. <laughs> so we're going to get right into it. Uh, if you end up liking the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, tell me how you're planning out the Halloween stuff. And any other things that help the channel. And leave a like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Halloween Campaign 2022 special total login bonus. Mm -hmm. 12 swing courts. One, one on day one, two, one on day two, one on day three, two, 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 and then finally three on the final day. Up to seven. A whole week. And there's also a two times chance of super and great success for event servants limited time. There, of course, going to be Liz. Liz Lancer, Ibaraki, the Lancer non-swimsuit non version. No, no, that is a swimsuit version. Uh, Vlad the Third from Extra. This is the crazy religious one. Tumbamo, Tumbamo no Moi, Mephistopheles, Mephisto, uh, Cleopatra, Osaka Bahime, Shuten Doji, Carmilla, Wu Tang, Yang Quin, Ibaraki Doji, the Berserker one, Peninsula, or the Berserker of El Dorado. <laughs> and the nice of them to put the parentheses on here. Tumbamo Cat, Darius the Third, and Setonia. Uh, so yes, all of them will be able to get oh, super and great suck up. Event servant interludes and rank up quests will be half off for all the units I mentioned beforehand. Uh, Darius the third had a fucking yeah he did have one he did have one. Event servants earn friend points two times all the same dudes again, and there's a banner attached to it. Oh wait, does this have petite devil on it? Little Halloween devil. Yes, it does. Oh man. That's actually a good scene. <laughs> anyway, the Summon Halloween Campaign 22 pick up Summon Daily. Limited Time Servants, Cleopatra, Ibaraki Doji, Lancer. And then uh, the next day would be Osaka Bahime and Elizabeth Lancer version. All days, Mephistopheles and Darius. And then Limited Time Craft Essence, which is all of them. The Little Halloween Devil, The Dangerous Beast, Trick or Treatment, Welcome to Oni Land, Halloween Arrangement, Witch Under the Moonlight, Phantom Knight, Simple Crimson, Jack O' Lantern, Count Romani's Archimund Hospitality from Wonderland, Ishigari Brothers. Yeah. And it's basically a pretty normal banner, but on the, as you can see here, Mephistopheles and Darius will always be there. Uh, in the first, on the first day when it's here, both Cleopatra and Hosaka Bahime will be featured, but then it will go Cleo, Hosaka Bahime, or just Hime, I'll just call it from that, Cleo, Hime, Cleo, Hime, and then ending off with them two again. The Lancer version, it's pretty nice, but it's very rare for them to ever offer, uh, I think that people are still waiting for her to have a solo rate-up banner of some kind on the JP side of the game, because it's been years. So we get to have that first, yay. Uh, yeah, the limited time crash sessions, these other dudes, you know them. <laughs> you know, Cleopatra, Hime, always in the banner, so probably not worth it, unless you're a huge Hime fan. Liz is there, Mephistopheles is always there, Darius is always there. The limited time craft essence, though, Little Halloween Devil is really good because it increases the MP gain by 20%, and also you begin the battle with 50% MP. That is fucking great. <laughs> For very specific units, it helps them actually be able to loop because 20% MP gain is a lot to give to someone. There's also Dangerous Beast, which is for... Actually, yeah, it's all the... The uh, redrop CEs, um, trigger treatment. I think Welcome to Only Land was also theirs. I think, anyway. There's another one here. No, they don't have the one I'm thinking of, but it's fine. Uh, Dangerous Beast, trigger treatment, Welcome to Only Land. I don't think there's any of them besides the art <laughs> that really stand out in terms of their effects. Not like Little Halloween Devil. Little Halloween Devil exists in a tier of its own um, for various reasons. Yeah, so why are we having this banner? I think the most obvious thing to kind of ask here. The answer is, is that our schedule is completely fucked up. 
I've been doing like, hey, here's what's coming up potentially for the month. And our months are just completely out of fucking whack. The things that were supposed to happen in... Like, for example, we had a Christmas event in October. Mm, that doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make any sense, but that's what was next on the schedule. So we've been following the schedule, so we just kind of need like a week to kind of put some distance between us. Because there's a lot of stuff. They're not going to release the New Year's dudes early. There's just no way in hell that's ever going to happen or the events related to New Year's. So what they do is basically we're going to have to, I don't know, stretch for time for the things we have remaining and kind of deal with the consequences afterwards. Uh, for this one, I kind of wish it's, uh, it's a far flung wish because it's not going to happen. I kind of wish because this year we don't actually get a Halloween event. And next was supposed to be Imaginary Scramble. Everyone was waiting for news on Imaginary Scramble. But no, we're not getting Imaginary Scramble. We're instead getting this banner, which is the most, like... As someone who has both Cleo and I don't, actually don't have Hime. I have Super Hime, close enough. Um, it's very easy to skip this banner, because it just is. Cleo's very old. I love Cleo. I used her a whole bunch when she first came out. I would love it if they buffed her and made her just better. But even if it was better, it would take at least two years for it to catch up in time. Uh, she's an assassin with an AoE. She has a giant snakey boy who doesn't love that. She's also designed by the people who, by the dude who did, I think, Dangon Ropa, which is what I like about her a whole bunch. Um, but she definitely needs a lot to be good, especially if you're an AoE, uh, a, bus uh, a buster AoE, uh, assassin. And Hime has always been this weird, quick support. So she's very niche, but in her niche that what she does, you can find a lot of use for her. But most, but most people probably aren't going to be able to find the most out of her. Unless you're a big Hime fan or a big Cleo fan, this is a pretty easy skip. I kind of want to summon just for Little Halloween Devil, but it doesn't look like Little Halloween Devil is on Featured, which means it would be fighting with, for its life with Dangerous Beast and Trick or Treatment. And Welcome to Oniland. And I have the other ones. The only one I'm missing is Little Halloween Devil. It's the only one I would want. It's funny enough, the only thing I would want from this entire banner is Little Halloween Devil. Just because of its specific niche, not even nicheness, it's just really nice to have. Sometimes there's just a unit that doesn't need attack, it just needs a lot of NP gain to kind of function. Um, and I wish I had that, but unfortunately I don't. But anyway, I do, I'm digressing too much. So yeah, basically I think a chill week. I doubt that they're going to bring over early the Liz events, which is what I was trying to say. Um, on JP they come next year, basically all three of the Liz um trilogy until we enter the fourth uh uh fourth event of the liz i guess arc i don't know what you would call it but the what the lizardtainment all the good liz content coming to the game eventually um yeah i doubt they give it to us early it'd be nice but i doubt it's gonna happen it's just one of those things where it's like i, I, don't, I don't see it in the cards personally but you never know um so yeah if you're not interested in any of these dudes, I guess you just kind of sit back, relax, and just like, you know, grind stuff off that you might need, catch up on story, just relax. There doesn't seem there's going to be much until the next Lost Belt starts happening, which they said is going to happen in November. I would assume after this event would either be, I think actually one of them, I think they might push Imaginary Scramble back again, and we get the Lost Belt first before we get Imaginary Scramble. But you never know, actually. It'd be interesting to see. If you have any specific ideas of how you think they're going to handle it, feel free to tell me. But, yeah, that's it, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. I wish you guys the best of luck if you do end up pulling. Like I said, you probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't summon on this banner. But as someone who is a fan of at least two of these girls, um, though funny enough, I... In the beginning, I really did not like Hime all that much, but I think around the summer, when she actually got her summer unit, I liked her a little bit more. I think, funny enough, similar to how Blackbeard got better in summer, it took summer. On her initial event, I fucking hated her. <laughs> but now I don't. I don't hate her as much anymore. I think it, it ended up being... It's much better when she was actually just working uh, on manga and stuff and procrastinating. It made her much more likable than what she was in the... Uh, Halloween event, which was just someone who constantly shouted out memes at you. 
But I'm digressing once again. I like Cleopatra a whole bunch. I wish they did more with her. That summer CE with her on it is amazing. And also I think there's another Halloween one that's coming next year. That's also fucking amazing. They should do more with this character. And I think Petite Devil's actually... Petite Devil's not what the fuck the name is. Why do I keep calling it that? Uh, it must be something what in the translation of why I'm getting confused. But the, the Ilya Devil costume is very good. And yeah, that's the video, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.